does RX-8 come in today? We've noticed there's no headlight washers and it's a five speed RX-8, so essentially a four port or 192. However, on closer inspection, it's been fitted with a 231 engine, so the six port. See the additional intake runners. So we thought we'd look a little bit closer. We was hoping that we'd find that whoever had done the work had actually changed the ECU. However, all the security bolts are intact. Sorry about a torch, it's the best way to get some light in there. The ECU's not been removed. The loom on the back of the ECU is the original engine loom, which leads us to wonder whether someone's actually done a bodge job of putting the engine in. We've looked closely at the intake. So we looked at the fuel rail and the injectors, which are just down there. You see the just a flash of yellow when I get it right. There we go. That down there is the fuel injector. That one's plugged in. The centre two fuel injectors on that rail, because the, the 231 has four injectors, the two centre ones have not been connected because there's no plugs for them. Also, to add to the customer's pain, the AVP motor on the side of the intake manifold has not been connected. Let's see if we can find that with the video and see what we can show you. So we're looking just down here. The small plug which is now, which I'm now illuminated with my torch, is the AVP motor. That basically means that the tertiary ports on the front and rear iron aren't actually working. So this engine is essentially making less power than a standard 192 engine because some idiots basically wired it up or they haven't wired it up that's the problem a 231 engine into a 192 conversion is doable but in this case this is not how it's done so yeah it was just one of them quirky things was coming today we thought we'd share happy rotary rotaries